this is Justin from Justin Ray on Instagram. I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the first video. It just hit over 1,700 views, and I think last time I looked, I had 500 subscribers. So thank you to everyone. I wanted to say a big thank you to Megan from at Glue Guns and Roses. She has been extremely supportive and super helpful. So big thank you goes out to her. Um, for this next video, I wanted to create something from objects I had laying around the house. So I used cotton twine from the Dollar Tree as well as a couple dial rods I had. I wanted to use the bamboo sticks the Dollar Tree carries, but I didn't have any on hand. And I also think that if you don't have the cotton twine, you could use yarn for this project and it would come out exactly the same. I love the way this came out. I love the way pompous grass looks. This is a fun project, so I hope you enjoy the video. The first thing you want to do is take a piece of cardboard. We're going to use this to create the pattern for our tassels. After you cut it out, I wrapped mine in a little packing tape just to make it a little bit harder because you're going to use it over and over again. Now once you have it wrapped, what we're going to do is take a little bit of cotton twine from the Dollar Tree and we're going to wrap it around one end. Now what you want to do is cut the string off and you're going to take the string and loop it under and tie it off. Cut the string off and then cut all the bottom strings. Now that created the size of our smaller one. So now we're gonna wrap the other end of it and create our larger one. Now we wanna wrap the middle part of the pattern and this is gonna create our medium sized tassel. What we want is three different sized tassels. A little tip I learned was to roll out the string before you create your tassel, that way the string's not rolling everywhere. So what we want to end up with is six of each size tassel. Six small, six medium, and six large. Now what we want to do is take our dial rod and I made a little mark in the middle point and I just take scissors to create a little indent and then I'm just going to break it in half. Now we want to take our dial rod and we want to wrap it in the same cotton twine. Using a little bead of hot glue, just glue the rope to the end and then we're going to start wrapping it down. I used hot glue all the way down mine, but you don't really have to do this. I just wanted it to be a little bit more secure. I wrapped mine in twine about halfway down and then just cut it off. Now we want to hot glue the tassels onto the stick. I started in the middle point using the largest ones, and then from about an inch out, I started gluing the bigger ones. Use up the big ones in the middle, and then you want to go to the medium, and then to the small ones on the outside. I wasn't too exact in where I glued them on it, I just kind of wanted to fill in the space that I wrapped with the cotton twine. As you can see, I glued the tassels onto both sides of the rod. Now once you have all your tassels on, you want to firmly press down, making sure that they're stuck. 
That's going to be our pompous grass. I kind of liked the look of the string, but to make it a little more fluffy, I just took a comb and brushed out all of the strings. You want to hold on to the middle part as to not pull out your strings. Once you have all the strings brushed out, I just cut off the ends. To get the strings to stick up like real pompous grass, I just used a little bit of hairspray and sprayed the strings. And that's your pompous grass. I did fluff them out a little bit more before I took the photos. I created all six of these for $3 and I just placed them in a simple vase and I love the way it came out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love the way the pompous grass came out. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at Justin Ray. Ray is spelled with a W-R-A-Y. Thank you so much for watching.